welcome to the part 2 from the training series of SCADA systems. My name is Roman and I'm going to teach you today again about SCADA. SCADA in layman terms, let's brought every character from the SCADA into the more clarity. Let's see like for SCADA is actually a combination of S-C-A-D-A. -A. What is S? Supervisory. C for control, A for and, D for data, A for acquisition. What is supervisory? Supervisory is to supervise a series of process, a series of steps from any process industry like chemical, fertilizer, power, any industry that involves series of steps. So supervision of that one some software that's taking care of all that is called SCADA. So this is S. C for control. Control is to control something by by mean of by mean of PLC, DCS or something like that. In the process industry, you are controlling. You are automating the process. The steps that are normally done by the by the operators, by the men, now are in automation. And data acquisition is acquiring data, is gathering information from the instruments. Like you, in that, you have pressure, temperature, level, flow, different instruments, and you have PLC, DCS, and HMI to get that all information. That's what we call it data acquisition. And the system serves to this system is serving to bait organizations like oil and gas, petrochemical, fertilizer, and these all industries. And it's a better control of that one. It's better performance you get it from here. You get better efficiency. So that's what we call SCADA in layman terms. Uh, yes, we discuss about SCADA is in last session. It's it's, it's have uh, components, main functions like, for example, collecting information, transferring it back to the central site, getting on the CDC analysis and control, displaying that data in number of operator schemes. So operators are visualizing that not only visualizing that they can control the process from there they can uh, do like for example level is going off very high it can the operator can control the level by adjusting the flow of intake valve so same is the case like in SCADA you can control from the visualizing screens operators sitting there they are controlling the things Yes, you have flow level, temperature, pressure. You have feed instruments to take care about mating of the things, and PLC DCS are just to get in information and control the process. And RDUs are the the two types: RDUs, intelligent, non-intelligent. We talk about that in last session. RDU serves is a is a local collection point where all the information, all the tags are coming here and through telemetry is going down going down towards master control room so telemetry is a technique used to uh, transmit to receive the information over any medium so that's what we're talking about here telemetry the purpose of telemetry is to transmit the information from here this is our local site this is our master control room. Information need to be travel need to travel from these two sides. So it, it these sides can be maybe thousands kilometer away from each other. So they might need to have a media. So they need to have some way out to transmit that information to the master control room. Sorry. So it's a technique that's used to transmit and receive information or data or data or medium is called telemetry 
information you know like we are getting information like voltage, speed, flow, temperature, level, pressure, on and off conditions of signals, control actions, percentage opening of the valve. These are all the information that we need to send it out to the to the main or uh, main control room or master scatter room. So now, what is the medium or what are the ways that you can use? to transfer information from here to there so mediums are cable telephone or radio you can have a you know high speed connection from internet service uh, internet service provider to do the service uh, you know to get that so that get that facility of transferring transferring the information from the local side to the master control room So information can be from one location. In our case, we have one location. But for example, if you have three or four plants, then information can be coming from three or four plants to the master control room. So it's in the information can be from one location or multiple location. And data acquisition, you know, is referred to the method used to access and control the information and data from the equipment being controlled and monitored. Then data access started and forward into the telemetry system ready for being transferred to the different sites. Data access can be analog or digital. For sure, like in, in, in processes, you're controlling two types of the signals, two types of the activities. One is digital and one is analog. For example, if you talk about on and off of some motor only, that's a digital signal. If you talk about level, temperature, flow, these are all analog signals. And then you can be there. Are, there can be control actions like in actuator, relays, valves, and motor. You do have control actions to start up the motor, like for instance, and stop them. Stop the motor. These are all control actions. We talk about RDUs. RDU is a local gathering point or collection point. It gathers the information from the field devices like pump, valves, and alarms, and etc and then it send it out through telemetry systems to the master control room network, communi network communication is really important as I talk about that network communication you, you need to transfer that information from this local site to remote site here involve the cyber security here involve more details that I'm gonna talk about after SCADA software portions like programming when we are done with the programming then we will explore the network communication portion of it with the with the cyber security now the information that was coming from here you see here is coming here from RTU RD is a local gathering point from the remote side like if it, for example if you have three or four side every side will have an RTU but when you talk about master control room like the place where you have scatter software is there that's always contain MTU what is that MTU? MTU is master terminal unit master terminal unit is heart of the scatter system and it's located at the operator central control facility where you have all operating schemes so data from the remote sites are accessed through MTU and sent to or you can say sent to MTU and the process and stored in other systems like so SCADA master units these are larger computer consoles that serve as central processor for the SCADA system this is not normal because you know you, in normal PC you have a limitation of storage so you cannot rely on that so larger computer consoles that you need in there are called SCADA master units so thank you very much for watching this video that's it for today we will continue the journey of SCADA that will take you to the expert level. We are posting regular videos about SCADA, PLC, HMI and DCS and SCADA training series is going on at the moment. If you don't want to miss any video from our channel all you have to do is come here on our YouTube channel and hit subscribe button here.